Hey guys, that Mikey Gamer back here with an NBO. Guys, tomorrow we have some new Ultimate Legends. Starting off right away with 99 overall, Jerry Rice coming in at 95 speed, 93 jumping. 99 catching, 96 catching, driving, 96 back catch, 99 short route running, 99 medium route running, and 97 deep route running. These are our last Ultimate Legends of the year. So obviously we had the last Power Up Expansion players before this. Now we have the last ULs for the year. And to be honest, it kind of sucks that these guys got cards so late. Jerry Rice should have gotten a card like four months ago. This is ridiculous. I swear. I'm just saying. Jerry Rice, and then our second guy is Michael Strahan. He should have gotten a card like four months ago. Now, the good thing about him is he already had a 97 overall. I believe Rice had a 96 overall ghost card, uh, but Strahan comes in at 91 speed, 93 acceleration, 96 strength, 98 tackle, 94 playback, 98 block shed, 99 power move, and 94 finesse move. Our final card is Ozzy Newsome coming at 93 speed, 89 strength, 97 catching, 99 catching travel, 99 spec cast, 95 short route running, 99 mean route running, and 85 run block. Just some of these cards I feel like definitely should have gotten players a little while ago, probably a couple months ago. So I'm not I'm not complaining too much, but for the final release, these are very good cards. It's just I would have loved to play with Jerry Rice, and I'm not playing with Jerry Rice in the end of June. Oh, end of July right now. It's just way too late to play, you know, with Jerry Rice at this point. But again, still a very nice card. Still very excited about these Ultimate Legends. Overall, I will say the Ultimate Legend we got this year and the Legends overall has been a really, really great year. With everything going on, you know, with all the, you know, content released this year, we've gotten a lot of legendary players. And a lot of players I never thought I'd see in Madden, actually in Madden. I never thought I saw Johnny Unitas caught in Madden. We got him in Madden, even though he didn't get a Baltimore Colts chem. It's okay. I mean, it's whatever. Um, But other than that, like, we got a lot of cards that I'm just really looking forward to the next Madden because of the fact of all the stuff we got this year. And next year, we already know we're getting primetime performance and Football Outsiders back. So, it should be a really good year. And... I know a lot of people are not looking forward to Madden 22. I've seen a lot of boycott Madden. And to be honest, you're never going to be at a boycott Madden. Even if, let alone just this typical, you know, NFL teams buy Madden, they're already going to buy millions of copies to send out, you know, to their like different offices and different people they have associated with the NFL. You're never going to be at a boycott Madden. Even if like 10% of Madden players say we're not playing anymore. A 90%. The people who spend the big money on Mutt are the guys who are going to keep playing Mutt and won't ever boycott Mutt. Because in a way, it's kind of like an addiction. You know, it's like a pack addiction. It's like gambling. So with that in mind, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.